Hi Leos, thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. I am doing a general spread for you and is going to be good from now for the next few weeks. This is good for all placements for the sign of Leo. This is general, energies can be moved around and this will not resonate with everyone. I'm gonna get started right now. I'm rolling into fire signs and I was gonna do Aries but I just really felt like doing Leo. Thank you, Leos, for all your love and support. I truly appreciate it. I'm going to do one more shuffle. Spirit guide, strongest energies around the sign of Leos that this reading is for. I'm going to look at your recent past, the crossing energies, and what's headed in. But right now, I'm going to look at the strongest energies around you with the psychic tarot cards. Let's see what I feel here. Spirit guide, strongest energies around the sign of Leos, please. Four cards for the sign of Leo's strongest energies. Now, what else do you want to show me for the sign of Leo's? Two more cards, please, for the sign. There it is. Right there, Leo's. Uh, well, to my left, I have heartache and loss. So... This is only going to resonate with so many people, but um, I feel if you're going through a heartache and loss right now about something, and it can be a lot of things, they want me to tell you um, the strongest energy. We have patience, Leo, patience and planning. <laughs> Excuse me, I was going to say something, but I'm not going to say it. I have movement choices and decisions around you right now from something that has hurt your heart and you, you have patience and I feel you're trying to plan something. And then I have financial and material changes. So I feel that this is about you making a choice, um, planning something about which decision is going to create the most financial and material harvest for you and um, you know I got choice I got changes and decisions so once you make your decision in the next few weeks you have financial and material changes coming in and I feel that it's going to benefit you and this is what I do I feel I feel there's something coming in for you and they want and I think right now uh, it's patience and I think you have a plan and your heart might be hurting you Leo's but you are the king of wands. I'm going to look at something you've recently been through. I'm put these right here. And if it sounds like your situation, this is your reading. Spirit guides. Something my Leos have recently gone through. That this reading is for. For the sign of Leos. What do you want to show me, please? Let's see why these cards are here. Show me something they've recently been through for the sign of Leos. Show me something my Leos, thank you, has recently been through. Thank you that this sign of Leos is for this reading, recent past. What else do you want to tell me? Anything else? You guys, you and who that was just flipped out? Did the triple? I have you showing up. My spirit guides are with me. Recently in the past, though, I have the Nine of Swords under the deck. These, this, this is my strongest energies. I, I shuffle a lot before I film. I mean the Nine of Swords, if I said Nine of Wands. Nine of Swords, it's that nighttime anxiety card. You know, maybe you were going through a heartbreak. Maybe you knew something wasn't going to work out. I have the Six of Pentacles. Um, this is a card about receiving something. I have the Page of Pentacles. Um, this is someone who only gave you a little bit of stability. Oh, they gave in all right. They, they gave, or something gave to you. It could be a job, but it was only a little bit. You received, but it was only a little bit. And boy, it caused a lot of nighttime anxiety. This is just trying to rest and your thoughts are just eh, eh, eh. Then I have the Knight of Love. It's someone who likes to roam in and out with love. And I have it with the Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, Seven of Pentacles and the tower no coincidence you saw me shuffle i do a lot of shuffling Whew. 
seven of swords, seven of wands, and seven of pentacles. That's a whole hell of a lot of conflicts. You know, the seven of swords is someone around you that you definitely knew or felt was being deceptive with you. You know, you felt that it was something that, are they trying to get away with something? And then I have the seven of wands and this is uh, battling, I think, with the things that are coming at you. And then with the seven of pentacles, it's like, do I want to put more work into the situation? Is anything going to grow? And then I have the Knight of Love. It's somebody who likes to roam in with love, maybe love gestures. I don't feel this is your energy. It could be anybody. And then I have you having a whole lot of rude awakenings. And the tower moment recently in the past is something that just came crumbling down. I say a lot of sevens there. I'm going to go away to my left. Here it is right here. I have the Eight of Swords and the Five of Wands. Um, it's from all the conflicts and I think that's what got that tower coming down and I have too many sevens it's so many conflicts and with the eight of swords here it's like it literally the conflict started making you get trapped in your thoughts you know it was just kind of like it was more fear-based but it was just kind of like I think you were starting to realize something here isn't gonna work yeah oh my god I don't even know why I said that I have wish fulfillment with working with somebody else to get to the triangle of stability it's right there. It's something you, it was your wish to work with this, with, with somebody to get to either a marriage, a solid union, a higher level in a job, because the card in front of me is I have the 10 of swords. <laughs> I mean, this came to a hurtful completion because you have heart loss right now and my cards start to roll in to get to here. That's how the cards are given to me. That's how I take them. I have you showing up right in front of me. Yeah. With the King of Swords, oof, two kings in your energy. Leo, this is you. This is the king of courage, the king of determination, the king of passion. You will do the hard work or whatever it takes to be that king of wands. And I feel that recently, because we're starting to roll into this energy, is you started seeing something with a whole new truth a new clarity, standing in some type of integrity. Or you were dealing with an Aquarius, I don't know. Or Gemini, or Libra. But I, I don't, I really do feel that you came into this. It's like the King of Wands with the King of Air energy around you. And I see it's from something that came to a completion. I mean, I have the Eight, the Nine, and the Ten of Swords showing up in your recent past. We're rolling into this. Because I have the Sun, and I have it with the Three of Swords. And I have it with the Hermit in reverse. And that is absolutely beautiful. Um, I do feel that I did have heartache and loss right there. You know, um, it's something that has hurt your heart. But I feel with the sun here, this is about you. That is your card of patience and planning. <laughs> and financial and material changes, movement choices and decisions. And I feel that right now... You're very optimistic about how this is going to play out in your favor. Then I have the Hermit in reverse. I feel that you're going to be coming out of this place of being withdrawn about something that has hurt your heart, that you've been looking at, that um, you. I think you found your answers. I feel. I see it. I see it. Strongest energies around you. I mean, this is a completion. You know, this is something that has hurt you. This is only going to resonate with so many people. It could be about a lot of things. But when I see the sun and I see patience and planning, what you up to, Leos? <laughs> Let's look at the incoming in a few minutes, but I do want to look at the crossing. If you're not dealing with anyone, there's a timestamp in the description box. Crossing energies, please. For the sign of Leos. Yeah, crossing energies for the sign of Leo. You guys, strength flipped over you. One more shuffle. Crossing energies for the sign of Leo. They know you're being strong about something because you have the strength of a lion and the courage. Crossing energies for the sign of Leo. Thank you. Tell me about the crossing energies for the sign of... 
Oh, Leo. What else do you want to show me about the crossing energies, please? For the sign of Leo's. Anything else? Wow, they're all reversed, yeah. Anything else? Nope. And then they just stop. Who's on the floor? Oh, wow. I have Aries. <laughs> wow. Oof. You dealing with an Aries or are you dealing with a, a boss type? All right. Under the deck. Three of Pentacles. I have it with the Ace of Swords. And they've had a whole lot of rude awakenings at something they thought was their divine connection. The lovers. Gemini energy. That tower moment. Boy, they had a whole lot of new truths. That's seeing something that has hurt. I'm only going to say it hurts because that Ace of Swords is truth. And their tower came crumbling down. And Three of Pentacles is uh, I feel that this person was hoping to put work into something with you to get to the Triangle of Stability, but you're dealing with a very strong force. I'm waiting to see strength. <laughs> okay, I do have the Eight of Swords and their energy, and that's where I shall stop. So this is someone... After those tower moments from having a whole lot of new truths about something they thought was their divine connection, they are getting all up in their head about it. All up in their head about it. All right, let's start looking. I have the Six of Wands. Another Six. The Six of Cups. And I have the Knight of Cups. And this is what I saw in your energy. You know, the Knight that comes in on his mission of love for a victory because they can't stop thinking about you. Like they have a lot of nostalgia. They have a lot of nostalgia, Leos. Um, they had they felt something very deep with you. Because when I see the lover's card, that's a, that's someone who, who thought this was their divine connection. I have the nine of wands in reverse. And I have the hierophant. You know, um, the hierophant is Taurus. But the nine of wands in reverse is someone who is not protecting themselves anymore. Because they have faith in something greater. Like greater to a commitment or how this is going to work out for them. <laughs> I've seen all the cards, but when I saw that emperor, I felt something. I have a new opportunity of love. I have it with this eager page of pentacles. I have it with the eight of swords and the three of wands. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Like they know that ship's going to come in for a new opportunity of love. But with the Page of Pentacles here, this is someone who is very, um, very, this young energy of holding on to something about stability. Like they want to start something new with stability for a new opportunity of love. But personally, I think they think about you all the time. I saw the Six of Cups and the Three of Wands is fire energy. And I feel that this is someone who often wonders if they could have gotten to a higher level of commitment with you. Nine of swords in reverse. I say eight. It's the nine. I'm sorry. I'm just, just getting... I start to feel stuff and then just... Oh, they had the eight of swords. Like they get caught up in their head. I mean, I think... I feel they think about this all the time. The tower moment. With a new truth and new clarity about something they thought was their divine connection. Mm. And then here it came. Yeah. So I feel that... Um, Okay, here, now I see the card in front of me. These three are all in reverse. Okay, I just kind of feel like it's someone who's still, I don't care what they say or what they pretend to be, they're still hoping here that that ship will come in. I mean, without a doubt. They're still hoping. Um, I have Justice in reverse. I have the Hermit in reverse. I have the Seven of Wands in reverse. And I have the Moon in reverse. Oh my goodness. This is someone who is completely deceiving themselves about how the scales weren't fair or they like they feel that everything in this situation was fair, but I think they were dilute like they're they're, or they're not fair. And I have the Herman in reverse. This is someone who um, and then I have the seven of wands in reverse. It's like they're not standing their ground anymore. I feel very stubborn energy about someone who is standing in this energy of, I know what I'm talking about, because when I saw that emperor, I felt something. 
you know, um, it could be an Aries, you know, and they feel things haven't been fair. And with the moon in reverse, they're not seeing everything clearly and they're not tapping into their intuition because the hermit's in reverse. You know, they're not, they're not finding their answers. I mean, I got Pisces, Libra, and Virgo all in reverse. And then I have the seven of wands. It's like this person is standing in this fire energy of seven of wands. This is the only one that wasn't in reverse, I think. Or maybe it was in reverse, but I don't feel it's supposed to be in reverse. I feel like this person is battling at everything that comes towards them, you know, and maybe in reverse, it just meant that they're not battling with it because we're not seeing things clearly here. This person is, is not seeing anything clearly. You know, this is the energy in them right now about how things have been balanced. You know, they're not even going away. They're not trying to find their answers. And I feel that they're disillusioning themselves about something here. Because they're still waiting for something to come towards them, Leos. Big Aries energy, though. That's, that's a powerhouse. But I'm going to look at what's coming towards you. Because I think that's the most important. You know what? It says to use these today. I shall. That's most important. What's coming in for you? My incoming energy start in about a week or two. Sometimes I do a video and they don't even take off for like a week or two because <laughs> that's when all my incoming energies roll in. Spirit guides incoming for my beautiful Leos. <laughs> One more shuffle. Incoming energies, please. For the sign of Leos. Alrighty. Three or four cards about the incoming energies. What's coming towards my Leos in the next few weeks, please? That this reading is for, for the sign. I got four cards. I asked for four, you get four. Okay, what do we have? I have the Hermit upright. I have it with the Page Cups, the Two of Wands, and oh, I have five cards, the Page of Wands. I feel in the incoming energies, this is about uh, you being withdrawn to find your answers before you, you get something new started, this eager energy of love. Because with the two of wands here, it's telling me it's time for you to make a decision about moving forward with something. You know, get that um, eager fire energy of adventure, you know, um, because the next card they gave me is the eight of swords. Like, I feel you're only getting caught in your head about something because you haven't made your decision in the incoming energies for you to move forward. And with the Page of Wands here, this is like you getting that adventure side of you back, Leos. And that's why you're getting trapped in your thoughts. I feel you need to make a decision here. Because I have the Hermit. You know, being withdrawn to find your answers about getting this Page of Cups energy back around you. Or you got a young water sign that you're really going to be analyzing. <laughs> Could be. I am going to look at what's coming towards you. Oh, okay, we'll use these today. All right, spirit guides. Uh-oh, I saw the emperor on the bottom. Incoming energies from my beautiful Leos, please. In the next few weeks. What do you want to show me about the incoming? Show me why those cards are here. Incoming energies. For the sign of Leos. Hmm. What do you want to show me, please? Incoming energies for the sign of Leos in the next few weeks, please. What else do you want to tell me about the incoming energies for my beautiful Leos? What else do you want to show me? Anything else? Incoming? Anything else? Hmm. Bottom of the deck is I have the Three of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and then I have the Almighty High Priestess. Use your intuition to make a decision here, Leos, because I have the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> That's what I feel. Um, the Three of Pentacles is, is rebuilding the tower that just got destroyed behind you recently. You know, um, it's literally working on something to get to something that's going to be the Triangle Stability. 
Um, I do feel that the Knight of Wands is you being determined to go after what you want. With the Nine of Wands, it's like you're done battling for something that is not healthy for you. So I feel. High Priestess, your gut is going to be singing to you because you have big change rolling in in your favor. When the wheel shifts, everything plays out in your favor. Hmm. I have a Knight of Love rolling in and I have Scorpio, a lot of water energy here. And I have something that's going to bring you the ultimate happiness, the Ten of Cups. And I have it from something that once broke your heart and is a completion that you walked away from and you got a new love connection coming in. If it's not new, it's going to be a reconnect with somebody that you truly love. That is going to be the ultimate happiness. All right, let's begin. I'm going to go back there, but um, I, I have the devil showing up. And I told you, you got to make a choice. I have it with the Ace of Wands. The devil is coming in, and I have the Knight of Wands here, and that could be, you know, someone flying back in, which you think is going to create your ultimate happiness. But you better protect yourself a little bit here. You know, um, I just feel that the devil here is something that you feel chained to in an unhealthy way, and it looks like a passionate brand new beginning. I have this beautiful queen of fire. <laughs> I have it with the king of cups. And then I have the five of coins. In this deck, it's about giving. Giving. That queen of wands sure is a passionate, fiery queen. You know, um, the king of cups here, that's Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But I have a funny feeling you got something new rolling in here, Leo's. I don't know why. I haven't seen the Ace of Cups, but I have the Four of Cups. I have the Hangman. It's like telling me to tell you not to hold back from something new here, from being stuck from something from the past. Because I have the Nine of Cups right in front of me. This is something that's going to feel like a wish. You got to make some choices. I have the Moon. Um, I do feel that this is something that it's telling me to tell you to use your intuition with. You know, I think you got two things rolling in towards you. I have the Eight of Swords. Last card out is I have Justice. And they have Justice in Reverse. With the Moon in Reverse. Eight of Swords and Justice is the major arcana about finally having justice over the things that you've been trapped in your thoughts about. I mean, Justice is the card of truth, equality honesty scales balanced and i think that i feel it's going to get you out of here i don't know why i'm saying that because i have the moon here and these two cards can go hand in hand you know the moon is things that you you are not sure about because you still have hope and faith in that one cup but you feel stuck i feel from something from the past because i think you've got choices and decisions coming in here and then i have something that's truly going to feel like a wish because you'll have options <laughs> hey listen I really I asked for the strongest energies I said choices decision movement decisions and I, I really felt that this is coming in this is what I have for you I think that was pretty deep I am going to get a few messages here they are from my spirit guides I don't know I really do feel you have a wish coming in for you you know, um, I think it's all about justice. Like everything's going to play out in your favor because I saw you planning something in your strongest energies too. <laughs> Patience and planning around you right now because you know something's going to play out in your favor. Spirit guides, a few messages for my beautiful Leos today. What do you want to... Wow. No waste of time there. They gave me five cards. Oh, all right. I'm going to start this way. I just kind of heard it start to the right. So I have the five of Ariel right here. You needn't go through your current challenges alone, Leos. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. 
what they want to tell you. Maybe right now you're just getting too caught up in your head about something because something's going to play out for you. I have solutions. Success that comes from objective compromise. Self-control and patience. I saw patience and planning. Forgiving and healing energy. Big message for certain Leos. And then I have the chariot right here. Mm -hmm. Determination and self-control. Career advancement. Acknowledgement of success by others. And that's what I feel judgment is doing here too. It's like you're finally going to get something you deserve. Like someone's going to say, you know what? You're doing a freaking great job. Or you know what? I can't live without you. <laughs> this is the next card right here. It's Gabriel. Five of Gabriel. A challenge you can resolve, Leos. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. Patience and planning. That seems to be the theme here. And here's the big ones right here. I have the six of Gabriel. I have the five and then they gave me the six. Congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. Awards, scholarships, or promotions. You guys, I really feel something strongly here. Like in the next few weeks, you know, I mean, maybe you're going through this now, but I feel that everything that you've been being patient and planning about is about to play out in your favor. And you have wish fulfillment. And I have all this coming in. Wow. This is what I have for you today, Leos. If you enjoyed it and it resonated, please remember to like, leave a comment if you like, subscribe. If you're not, thank you. Thank you to all my beautiful Leos for supporting my channel. Thank you so much. And wishing everyone many beautiful blessings. Thank you.